what is up guys in today's video we're going to be going over how we can create this very simple app in xcode and it's going to be called split the bill and what it's going to do is take an input from the user such as 100 users it's going to split that into how much that should be divided into when you want to pay the bill so right here we have a tip amount and the number of people we want to split it between so if we say we want to give a 10 percent tip each person will pay 55 euros. We can also go ahead and click on the number of people and change that to four people, for example, and it will calculate that 27.5 euros should be paid by each person. And we can change the percentage to 15 or to 0%, and it will continue doing these calculations. So it's a very simple app. It's actually very good for getting started with Swift and iOS development. And I also must mention that I'm actually using a sample project from this site right here. It's called Hacking with Swift. So I'm not going to take full credit for this project. It's actually one of the starter projects you can find on this website. So I definitely recommend you check this website out because you can also learn how to create this project by reading it on this website directly. I just added a few minor tweaks for my own sample project, but I also want to give you guys the opportunity to learn it along with me. So yeah, definitely check out this site because there's a lot of good stuff regarding how you can learn Swift and Xcode and iOS development. But the first thing we're going to do is go to our menu bar in Xcode and create a new file, which is going to be a new project. And it's going to give us these options as always. We're going to go to the iOS section and click on app and then click on next. Then you can go ahead and call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it split the bill and we're going to leave all of the settings as is. So let's go ahead and click on next and we need to specify a project location. So I'm going to put it in my Xcode projects folder, which I put in documents, but of course change this depending on how you organize yourself. So let's go ahead and create the project. So of course, the first thing we have to do as always is try to organize this a bit better because it's quite a mess. So let's go ahead and close the right sidebar and we also can close the left sidebar since we'll not be touching any of those tabs. Then we can also minimize the preview window and let's go ahead and change the iPod touch to an iPhone 13. Then just to make sure everything's working, go ahead and click on resume over here. And you should end up with a preview of an iPhone 13. And if you zoom out, you'll notice the entire iPhone. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create four variables in our content view. So right here, go ahead and create some space. And the first three are going to modify the state. So it's going to be updated a lot. So we need to add the state modifier. So private var total cost, which is going to equal an empty string. And this is going to be the total that the people have to pay. Then we should go ahead and create another private variable, which will consist of the amount of people, which I will set to for initially. Then the third state object is going to be a private variable of the tip index. And I will explain what this is with the fourth variable. So the fourth variable is going to be a list of tip percentages. So for example, we're going to have tips that are zero, five, 10, and 15%. So what tip index does is select which tip we're going to initially be set on. And depending on how we change this, it's going to select either zero, five, 10, or 15. Next, we're going to go ahead and create the function that calculates the final cost. So here we're going to go ahead and type in function calculate total. And this is going to return a double. So the first thing we have to go ahead and do is specify a tip variable. So let the tip and that's going to equal the double of tip percentages at the tip index. So again, if this is set at the index of two, tip percentages is going to select number 10, and we're gonna change that into a double, which is going to give it 10%. Then we need to go ahead and get the order total. So order total is going to equal a double of the total cost. And you're going to notice that the program's not going to be happy because right now we have a string here, and trying to get a double from a string can always end up wrong. So what we have to go ahead and do is add the nil coalescing operator and check whether that's a consistent value. And if it's not, we're just going to auto assign it the value of zero because we don't want to try to convert the string of hello or the string of ABC to a number. It's going to crash the program. Then we need to go ahead and get the final amount, which is going to equal the order total divided by 100 times the tip. 
and this is also going to be added by the order total. So this is going to give the final amount that we actually should pay, but not the amount that each person should pay. And actually the final section is pretty easy. So we're just going to return final amount divided by the double of people. And I'm getting a lot of errors here because I forgot to specify the double keyword at the top because we want to return a double, of course. But so far, so good. Now we have a function that can actually calculate all the values we need. And we just need to be able to display this information on the phone now. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our body. And inside here, we can just remove this part here. And we're going to insert a navigation view. And this is going to allow us to create screens that actually change around a bit easier. Then we're going to provide a form because inside the form, we're going to insert all of our elements. And at the bottom of the form, we can go ahead and provide a navigation title immediately. And of course you can call this whatever you want. I decided to name it split the bill. And when you rerun the preview, you should notice a title at the top that says your title. And also I want to mention there's a really nice shortcut for the preview and that is holding option command plus P. It just saves you a lot of time with refreshing the preview because a lot of the time it's going to stop for no reason. But the first thing we want to do is enter a section and this gives us some more freedom with adding a description. So inside this section, we're going to go ahead and provide a header and that's going to equal a text that tells the user to enter an amount. Then we need to open up a block. And inside here, we're going to go ahead and add a text field, which allows the user to actually enter some values. So what we want them to enter is the amount, and this is going to be a small placeholder text. So amount and the text is going to be set to the dollar symbol total cost. And the reason we have to include this dollar symbol is because with this dollar symbol, we create a binding. We tell the program that we want this total cost to reflect on the changes of this total cost. And as the program updates, it's going to continuously contact with the state and this element over here, and they're just going to continuously update each other. But you don't really have to memorize this most of the time because if you try to include it without it, the program's going to say, hey, you need to create a binding variable for this to work. In fact, if we click on this red dot, it's going to say insert a dollar symbol because we cannot convert the value of total cost of type string to ex expected type of binding string. So you'll get that error a lot in case you forget it. So don't worry if you do. It's just important we have it so we can create the binding variable. Now, the first thing you should know is that when you have a text field, you're going to get the default keyboard, which is going to prompt users to use letters. And we don't really want that. We want them to use a different keyboard type. So here we're going to type in keyboard type and the type is going to be set to dot decimal pad because we want the user to use the numbers with the decimal system. But even if they add letters, the program is not going to crash thanks to the logic we wrote up here. You can see order total is going to take this and try to convert it to a double. And if that doesn't work, it's just going to return the value of zero. So they can literally add anything they want but it will be calculated as zero if it's not a number. Next, we're going to go ahead and copy this section and paste it right below. And we're going to remove the text field inside. And the header here is going to be set to select a tip amount. And here we're going to add the percent symbol. Then actually to save time later, since we are going to include two more sections, we can just go ahead and paste those two under. But just to keep this simple, we're going to add four dashes so we know that we have to edit that later. So forget about these two sections for now. We're just going to use that later. But inside here, we're going to go ahead and provide a picker. And the first thing we need to provide is a tip percentage string. And the selection is going to be based on the dollar symbol tip index. Then we need to go ahead and create a block. And inside this block, we need to create a for each loop. And this is going to give us the options that we are looking for. So here we will type in for each and we want to loop through all of the elements in the array of tip percentages so we want to be able to get all of these so for that we're going to go from the index of zero to the tip percentages dot count and for each one of those we're going to provide a text block which is going to interpolate and take the tip percentages at the index of each element so dollar symbol zero 
and we're going to add a percent sign. So let's go ahead and run the program to see what we've done so far. So, so far we have a half built app. We can go ahead and enter the amount. So if we go ahead and type in eight, six, five, five, click enter, nothing's going to happen. If we click on tip percentages, you'll notice it's going to take us to this list here. And if we click on 5%, it will provide us 5% but we actually want to use a different style. We don't want it to take us to a different screen to give us the options. We want it to be a bit more simple than that. So for the picker, we're going to go ahead and type in picker style, and the style is going to be set to segmented picker style. And don't forget to add these parentheses. Then let's resume the preview, and you will notice this bar here, which makes it a lot easier for the user to select the percent amount they want to pick. The next section is actually very similar to this section we created right here. And it's going to be used to count how many people we want to split the bill with. So inside here, we're going to go ahead and type in how many people question mark, and we're going to insert a picker, which is going to say number of people. And the selection is going to be set to dollars people. Then we will open up a set of curly brackets because we also have to go ahead and select how many people we want this list to contain. So for each zero to 25, we're going to generate a list that says people. So text backslash, and inside here we insert the placeholder with dollar zero. And of course this needs to be wrapped in quotation marks and it will say people here. So now if we go ahead and rerun the program, we're going to have three of the elements we need to make this app work. We're going to have the tip percent, so 15, 5, and 0%. And we're going to have a list of people, which goes all the way to 24 people. So we can split this with 24 people. And you can also set something higher, such as 50, 100, 1,000. That is up to you, whatever you find realistic for splitting a tab with. But finally, let's go to the final section, which actually calculates the total so we can find out how much we need to pay our friends or our enemies, depending on who you're eating with. So here we're going to go ahead and type in total per person. And then we have to go ahead and create a text view. And inside here, you can add whatever currency your country uses. I'm just going to use the Euro for this example. And we're going to interpolate and start by adding the calculate total function. And we also want to provide a specifier that formats the result we get back from this function. So the specifier is just going to be another string of percent point to F. And that just tells the program that we only want two decimal places to be computed with the double. Well, let's go ahead and refresh the preview and you'll see zero at the bottom. And actually, if we go ahead and rerun this app, you're going to notice that all the logic came together and we can finally calculate the total of the dinner. So let's pretend we had a dinner for 1000 euros between four people, the total is gonna to be 200 and 75 if we decide to provide a 10% tip. If there's no 10% tip, it will be 250 euros per person. We can also go ahead and split this between, let's say 39 people. And here it will say each person should pay 25 euros and 64 cents, but we're feeling good today. So we will give them a 10% tip and the total per person will be 28 euros. And of course, if you want to change the tip percentages, you can go up here and add something such as 20 and 25. Then when you rerun the program, you're going to notice these will appear in this section down here. So we can go ahead and type in 25%, add a bill of 100 euros, and that's going to be the total per person. But that actually covers today's app. And once again, go ahead and check out Hacking with Swift because they have lots of cool tutorials there. And this tutorial was actually derived from one of their tutorials. So with that being said, guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.